liver test or liver function test. Liver test can be categorized into four groups and four patterns. First group is test based on excretory function of liver that is serum bilirubin total indirect or unconjugated fraction and direct or conjugated fraction then there is hyperbilirubinemia that is elevated serum bilirubin it could be unconjugated hyperbilirubinemia here there is elevated unconjugated bilirubin unconjugated bilirubin is less than 15 to 20 percent of total bilirubin or it could be conjugated hyperbilirubinemia here conjugated bilirubin is more than 15 to 20 percent of total bilirubin Causes of unconjugated hyperbilirubinemia are hemolysis, genetic conditions like pregnant Archer syndrome and Gilbert syndrome. Causes of conjugated hyperbilirubinemia are hepatocellular disorders, cholestasis and genetic conditions like Dubin Johnson syndrome and Rotar syndrome. Second group, enzymes reflecting damage to hepatocytes. There are two enzymes. First one is ALD, alanine transaminase or SGPT, serum glutamate pyruvate transaminase. Second one is CAST, aspartate transaminase or SGOT, serum glutamate oxaloacetate transaminase. Normal levels of both are usually in the range of 10 to 40 international units per liter. These are hepatocytes. AST is present in the mitochondria as well as cytosol of the hepatocyte whereas ALT is present only in the cytosol whenever there is damage to hepatocyte that is hepatocellular damage these enzymes are released into blood elevating blood levels both AST and ALT are elevated in any liver cell injury but ALT is relatively more specific why is it so? Because ALT is mainly found in liver with very small amounts in other tissues. But AST, non-shelter to the liver, is also found in RBC, muscle, etc. in significant amount. So it is also elevated in hemolysis. So it is present in the muscle, it is also elevated in rhabdomyolysis and muscle disorders. But here, CPK will also be elevated. Following stainless exercise, both ASD and ALT may be elevated. In acute hepatocellular disorders, usually ALT is more than ASD. But as cirrhosis develops, and in case of alcoholic liver disease, AST is more than ALT. And levels of both up to 300 international units per liter are quite non specific and may be found in any liver disorder. Even in cholestasis, these enzymes may be normal or markedly increased. But high levels more than 1000 units per liter are seen in viral hepatitis, ischemic liver injury and drug or toxin induced liver injury. Third group, enzymes reflecting cholestasis. It includes ALP, alkaline phosphatase and GGT, gamma glutamyl transferase. Hepatocytes, this is by canaliculi. ALP is present in the canalicular membrane of the hepatocyte. 
So, in cholestasis, there is increased canalicular synthesis of ALP. So, ALP is elevated in cholestasis. But, ALP elevation is not specific for cholestasis. More than four times normal levels of ALP are seen in cholestasis and infiltrative liver disorders. But, levels up to three times normal can be seen in any liver disorder. That is hepatocellular injury also. So, these two elevations are due to liver's, liver ALP. But ALP is not only found in the liver, there are non-liver sources of ALP also. It is also found in bone, placenta and small intestine. Due to bone isoenzyme, it is elevated in children due to rapid bone growth and also in some bone diseases with rapid bone turnover. Due to placental isoenzyme, it is elevated in late pregnancy and due to this, elevated in O and B blood group individuals following fatty meal. So, ALP is found in the liver as well as in other tissues. So, whenever there is elevated ALP along with abnormal liver test, it indicates that ALP is from the liver. But when there is isolated elevation of ALP, how to differentiate it is from the liver or from non-liver sources? There are two ways. Practical way is to measure GGT. If GGT is also elevated, it indicates that ALP is from the liver. Second way is fractionation of ALP isoenzymes by electrophoresis. GGT is sensitive but not specific to liver disorders. It is also elevated following some drug ingestion and pancreatic disorders also, but it is absent in the bone. Fourth group, test measuring synthetic function of hepatocytes. There are two, albumin and prothrombin type. International normalized ratio. Albumin is synthesized exclusively by the liver and the half-life of albumin is three weeks so reduction to less than three grams per deciliter indicates liver disease of more than three weeks so albumin is reduced in chronic liver disorders and cirrhosis but hypoalbuminemia is not specific or liver disorders. Prothrombin time it measures clotting factors 2, 5, 7 and 10. All clotting factors except factor 8 are synthesized by hepatocytes. So when there is severe hepatocellular damage Synthesis of these clotting factors is affected, resulting in prolonged prothrombin time. And in case of cholestasis, there is decreased vitamin K absorption. And factors 2, clotting factors 2, 7, 9 and 10 are vitamin K dependent. So, there is prolonged prothrombin time in cholestasis but it can be corrected by giving vitamin K in case of cholestasis but not in severe hepatocellular dysfunction. Abnormal liver test can be fit into one of the following four patterns. First one is hepatocellular pattern. Here there is disproportionate elevation of AST and ALT 
compared to ALP. Second pattern is cholestatic pattern. Here there is disproportionate elevation of ALP compared to AST and ALT. And third pattern is mixed pattern of injury. Here all three AST, ALT and ALP are elevated. Fourth pattern is isolated hyperbilgaminemia. Here there is elevated serum bilgamin, but levels of AST, ALP and LT are normal. Please check bilgamin metabolism, jaundice types and causes for further understanding.